Think of a person that you admire because of his or her communication skills. Now, you must be wondering that what are those interesting things that this person uses that you can make use of as well in your daily communication. These particular expressions are called idioms. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what today's session is about. Today's session is about the everyday idioms that you can make use of to sound fluent, confident and charismatic in your language. Let us get started with our first idiom, which is be down in the dumps. If you're in a situation that causes you a lot of sadness, a lot of depression, that's what it means. In such a situation where you feel gloomy, that means you feel sad, or you feel in a depressed mood, such as having lost a job, in that situation we can make use of be down in the dumps. The first example is, I have been down in the dumps since I failed the exam. So there's this person, he's failed the exam, apparently he's feeling sad and making use of be down in the dumps. The next example is John is down in the dumps and there's a very important reason because this person has lost his job. He lost his job and hasn't been getting through any interviews since. Not only did he uh, lose the job, but he's not also getting any new opportunities to work and so he's saying, down in the dumps. Make use of it the next time when you feel that you, you're in a sad and depressed mood. The second idiom that we have is get it off your chest. It means a particular situation or a particular uh, feeling that you have inside of your heart and because of that you're feeling very sad or probably excited as well for that matter. To share something that has been worrying you especially so a situation in your life that is inside of your heart, but you're not able to share it with anybody, probably because it is personal. So when you, have, when you share something like that with your friend or people who are close to you, that's when we can say, get it off your chest. For example, talking to you about my problems makes me feel so much better. It always helps me get things off my chest. That means whenever I talk about my problems with you, it feels like I've taken a big, huge rock off my chest and it helps me feel comfortable. Next example is psychological counselors are trained in helping you get things off your chest. Psychological counselors are basically kind of doctors that help us get out of depression. So when we discuss things with them, we basically get things off our chest. The third idiom of the day is Pull up your socks. Imagine that you're wearing your shoes. Are you getting ready to wear your shoes or you're just getting ready to be, to sit on your sofa at home and watch TV? Apparently to go out. So when you pull up your socks in this particular situation, that means you're getting ready to improve your performance. This is what this phrase is about. That means to do something so that your performance improves and you, not just performance, your behavior improves as well. For example, the manager isn't too happy with my performance, I need to pull up my socks. I have been given some professional feedback by my manager that my performance was not good in the last one year and now I've, I've got to get better at it. The next example is the metro rail project is running way behind schedule. The team really needs to pull up their socks to launch it next year. That means, let's say in a city like Hyderabad, metro Metro has begun, but the project is way behind and they have to pull up their socks. That means they've got to improve their performance to finish the project in time. Let's move to the next one. The next idiom is to come round. Have you ever made a decision in your life which was wrong and somebody convinced you, somebody guided you and you changed your opinion? This is what this phrase is about, to change your opinion of something. For example, okay, don't worry. I'm sure they'll come round soon, just talk to them. That means because through communication you, you will be able to solve any problem that there is. Second example, my grandfather didn't want to come on this trip to Europe. Initially my grandfather denied that he didn't want to go. But later the whole family had to request before he came round. That means before he changed his decision, the entire family had to request him. So whenever you change your decision in regard to anything, we can make use of come round. 
The next idiom is cost an arm and a leg. I'm sure you must have seen this before as well. Cost an arm and a leg is something that costs you a lot of money, something that is extremely expensive. For example, it would cost you an arm and a leg to upgrade to a gaming PC. Have, there are different kinds of computers, but especially the ones that are gaming, they cost you an arm and a leg. They're very expensive. The dinner at the restaurant cost me an arm and a leg. My bill was whooping $5,000. That means that, uh, my God, $5,000 is too much money. So when something is that expensive, costs an arm and a leg. The next idiom that we have for today is jump the gun. A lot of times we take decisions in our life, no matter how sensible we are, we take decisions in our life and we don't think about them. Now, in such situation, we can make use of this particular idiom, jump the gun. That means to do something too soon, especially without thinking about it. I think you're jumping the gun. You've only known Sarah for two weeks. Probably he's decided to marry Sarah, so the friend is guiding. Dude, you're jumping the gun. You're taking your decision without thinking about it properly. So think about it. Next example is, it's business that you're getting into. You must stop jumping the gun. That means business is a very sensible thing. You must not just take decisions on a snap so quickly. Think about it, plan, and then move on. Let's move to the next idiom that we have. Get a kick out of. Is there a particular habit that you have that really excites you, that really makes you, uh, makes you powerful or very active? In such situation, we, we can make use of get a kick out of, for example, to endure or really enjoy a particular thing. When you enjoy something, in that particular case, we can make use of get a kick out of. For example, I get a kick out of binging web series on Netflix. Now, how many of you like it? Please tell me honestly. When, when I watch Netflix, certain series that we have on Netflix, I get a kick out of it. I really enjoy that particular activity. You might get a kick out of riding a roller coaster, but that's not my thing. That means you might enjoy it, you might get a kick out of it, but I don't enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you get a kick out of? The next idiom that we have is, eat like a bird. Bird is this big or this big? So the stomach is this big or this big? Apparently this big. So when you eat like a bird, that means you eat very little. For example, don't trouble yourself cooking such a big meal. I eat like a bird. I eat very little, so don't make so many things right in front of me and don't feed me all of that. Next example, I hate diet plans. They make you eat like a bird. Well, that's very, very true, and I'm sure my personal trainer can agree with this as well. The next idiom that we have is pain in the neck. When something is a pain in, in the neck, does that make you feel comfortable or uncomfortable? The answer is right in your head. Something which is troublesome. Troublesome here means something that makes you feel uncomfortable. In such situation, we can say pain in the neck. I'm sorry to be a pain in the neck. Could you once again run me through the details? So a person is, seems like the person is quite sensible and is saying, I'm really sorry to be disturbing you and being so troublesome and problematic to you. Can you tell me this, the things again? Next example is, the traffic in my city is, is, total, is a total pain in the neck. That means, is something that really bothers me. I get a lot of problems because of the traffic in my city. In that situation, we can make use of pain in the neck. Let us look at the next idiom that we have, which is cut to the chase. Do you have somebody in your life who goes round and round, round and round, and does not come to a point, keeps on talking about things? To come to the point without wasting time is cut to the chase. So the next time when you want to say to your friend, come to the point, don't say come to the point, you can just simply say cut to the chase. For example, come on, stop being so good and cut to the chase, tell me what you need. Sometimes when people want something out of us, they are very polite to us. In such situation, we can make use of cut to the chase, come to the point. So that was all about the idioms that you can make use of in your daily life to sound more fluent. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. In case you have any other idioms to add to this list, do let us know in the comment section below and also with the examples as well. Thank you very much again. Take care and God bless.